boar coon. Okay, all, let's play with a big old boar coon. I guess this is probably a medium old boar coon. The bandit, or the raccoon, is just a really smart, really cool, really tough animal. And if you do get a boar, I always say, grab around there, see if you can fill that bone baculum. Actually, this one has got a stud. Yes, this is essentially his penis. And they have a bone in there. And I know in the south and other parts like that, a lot of these guys save these. Most of our predators, male predators, have a baculum. That's actually a bone. We'll clean that up as well. So first things first, we're just going to do his skull. I'll zoom the camera in. I'll take care of it right now. I know it seems crazy because people clicked on this video to see a coon get skinned. But if you don't want to see it get skinned, please turn it off now. Otherwise, business is normal. We're going to put that knife right up his jawline and start skinning him. I'm going to eliminate a bunch of the fast forward so you can see it in full motion. Same old story. You're just going to remove as much stuff right now as you can. If you've never skinned anything, when your knife hits something hard, just go the other direction. All you're doing is separating the hide from the bone. Now, I started him up underneath his chin just because I had him on his back and I was cutting out his baculum. Once I finish the underside, I flip him over and just do him like I normally do, right up the nose and around the head. Now, I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, poor coon, it's so sad, you're a murderer, all that stuff. First and foremost, I didn't kill this coon, Mother Nature did. Secondly, don't get upset about it. If it's laying on this table and I'm whittling his head off, it's already too late to be sad. Pay attention to other animals, not the one we're working on. This is done out of education and respect for this animal. All right, we just about got his face peeled off. So real simply, I like to put a little pressure, push his chin down, and then cut where it looks like it makes a seam. Cut down the back of the head, and then roll him over or put pressure up on his chin, push him the other way. And what you're doing is you're kind of hitting that apex joint, that joint where the meets the back of the head. Once it's there, little twist, easy peasy. Moving along, the skull's out. I'm gonna fill a pot with water. I'm gonna give it just a fistful of OxyClean to help degrease. I'm gonna put that skull right down in the water and bring it to a full rolling boil. The minute that that skull, the tissue on the top of the nose of that raccoon has split, I'm ready to start power washing. All right, so using a little pressure from my foot, not too much, just to hold it in place, I use a little 1600 PSI electric power washer, and I just start spraying everything. Now, if you saw the fox video or the coyote video or the bobcat video, all small game or predators are the same. I like to leave the top and the bottom jaw together and I work on them at the same time. That just helps keep those teeth meshed together so that nothing blows out. This is gonna be my trademark line. Every hole, every orifice, anywhere that there's tissue, get your power washer in there and get it blown free. If you're seeing blood or you're seeing red tissue, that means you're gonna to need to boil a little longer. But once it starts to split on the nose and I start power washing, I think it's easy just to remove a bunch of excess debris, then boil, wash, boil, wash, boil, wash. This whole process on this raccoon from the second I touched him with a knife until he was done took me 48 minutes. It can be done, it's a quick process, just get after it and don't be afraid of it. Anybody can do this with the proper tools. Now, the raccoon is about 90% clean. 
So I've taken the same pot that I was boiling water in, emptied it, washed it, and I put 40% by volume liquid peroxide and water. I did a 50-50 mix of each. I buy my peroxide from the beauty supply, and then I just put that skull right down in there, and I bring it to a full rolling boil. The second it hits the boil, it's ready. I pull that skull out, and I wash any of the little loose debris that was still attached that I didn't get in the original boil. I take my power washer, I use the fan setting so it's a little bit softer, and I blow everything off and set it in the sun to dry. Always, always save your peroxide if it's still good. I put it in a five gallon bucket with a lid and keep it out of the sun. You could literally do 60, 70, 80 raccoon skulls with the same batch. Take care of it, it's expensive. Save all those little pieces and parts. It doesn't make you weird. I take a little jar and keep those baculums in there. And when I have guests over the house, that's what I stir mixed drinks with. It's a great conversation piece. I'm kidding. Thank you for watching.